I need How to do you feel about that iPhone right now? <laughs> <laughs> sure you don't want to use my S7 Edge? Better for low lighting. It's I'm fine. Also DSLR it's lens. fine. It's fine. Uh, so uh, I know that I know that the three of you uh, are magicians, and therefore you're probably a little bit skeptical about uh, the existence of things like real psychic powers. I know that I'm a skeptic, uh, but I want to know your true feelings. Uh, do you really believe in the existence of psychic powers? Be honest. I, I don't. You don't. And how about you? Absolutely. You absolutely do. Okay. Absolutely. One out of two. Okay. How about you? I think it depends. It's intuition. It's intuition. All right. So at least in varying degrees, I guess, amongst the three of you. Uh, I have to admit that I'm a skeptic, but for those of us who are skeptics, I guess what we're going to have to do is for the next few minutes just to at least pretend that psychic powers really do exist. And the other two of you, I guess, can, can use your own intuition. Uh, now, playing cards, uh, you probably know, do have a bit of a history uh, in, uh, you know, uh, psychic testing, things like guessing cards, things of that nature. And I'd like to use uh, this deck of cards in a little experiment that we're going to try. Uh, it is a regular deck, and uh, we're each going to need about uh, half. Uh, so uh, there are 52 cards, so we'll say 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26. So I've got the deck divided exactly in half. And if you want, you guys, you can look the cards over, because uh, you get to decide which yeah. half is going to be for you, and which half is going to be for me. So I guess you guys can fight it out, deliberate all you want. Which half is going to be for you and which half is going to be for me? I want the seven of spades half. You want this this half? So you feel very strongly about that. So that's okay. That's okay. Does anybody have any objections? I'm object not gonna get in the way of that passion. No objections, all right. So therefore, I'm going to use <laughs> this half of the deck and I'm going to try to transmit a thought, one thought to each one of you, an individual playing card, one for Stan, I shouldn't be able to see what these are. One for Dan. Thank you. And one for my good friend George. All right. These three cards. Now, I don't want you to know what they are, but I am going to be sending this thought to each, uh, to each one of you individually. Um, so here's what I propose. I'm going to take these three cards, and I'm going to position them into specific locations in my half of the deck. All right? And we'll see if uh, this works. But I don't want you to see where I place them. So I'm just going to take these under the table edge for just a moment. And this will give me the opportunity to situate those cards exactly where I need them. All right. I'm going to leave my half right here for the time being, and just so that I can't mess with it, you know, I'll just leave it right there under the card box. Okay. Now this was the group of cards that y'all, that you all decided that you wanted to use, and uh, we'll just mix these up a little bit. And I'm going to start with George. Uh, what I would like you to do, please, is to cut about one third of those cards into my hand, if you don't mind, please. Sure. Uh, maybe a little bit more than that. It's not quite enough. Maybe just a slightly larger chunk. Yeah, your glass is like that. That's perfect, all right? I just have to make sure I have enough cards to work with here. And yeah, I think I do. So what I want you to do is to just consider all of the cards here for a moment. Okay. And tell me, which one of these cards do you happen to feel the most drawn yeah, to? Uh, the Ten of Clubs. The Ten of Clubs. Yes. Are you sure? Yeah, it's, all right. now, it's front and center. Do you think that you could remember the Ten of Clubs for just the next couple of minutes, all right? Absolutely. But just in case, what we're going to do is we're going to turn the rest of the cards face down. And that way, there's no question about the fact that that was the card that sure. you freely chose, right? I'm going to leave these cards right here, okay? And uh, Mr. Fishman, you get to go next, so we'll just mix these up a little bit more. And uh, can you just please do exactly what George did? Maybe cut about half of the remaining cards into my hand. That's fine. I'll look these over and see if this is going to be... Oh, yeah. This is going to work out fine. Look these over and decide which of these cards do you happen to feel the most drawn to. The King of Hearts. The King of Hearts, you sure? Okay. I'd be remiss if I didn't give you the chance to change your mind, but you can stick with the King. It is your choice. Okay, then. The Jack of Diamonds, okay? Uh, you can still have that king if you want it, or you can pick a different card. The Jack of Diamonds, you're sure. Okay. Do you suppose that you could remember the Jack of Diamonds for the next couple of minutes? All right, yours was the... Ten of Clubs. And yours is the Jack of Diamonds. But just like I did for George's card, we're going to isolate that just by just turning the remaining cards face down. And you can see... Let them talk you into changing. That is the only card face down amongst that group of cards. Yes? All right, yes. I'll just leave these right here. Stand. Right? You know the game at this point, all right? So you get to go next. 
I suppose we can mix these up a little bit more. It's a little harder to do with just uh, one small group of cards, but these are the cards that we have left over. And you get to make the final decision. Which of these cards do you feel the most drawn to? Jack of Clubs. The Jack of Clubs? All right, are you sure? Mm -hmm. You can change your mind. I'll stick with the Jack. You're going to stick with the Jack. But just like we did with everybody else, we turn the rest of the cards face down, and in that way, absolutely no way that we can uh, change our mind. Okay? So each of you made some uh, absolutely fair choices. You got to choose any card you wanted. You got to choose any card you wanted. You got to choose any card that you wanted. And they are now facing the wrong direction in this half of the day. Absolutely. You may recall at the beginning of this experiment, I was trying to project a specific thought to each one of you. And I chose three cards from my half of the deck and just sort of positioned them into three specific locations. My half of the deck has just been sitting here untouched underneath the card box the entire time. So let's do this. Let's just line these up right next to each other. And I'm going to take cards from both halves simultaneously. And whenever the first face-up card appears here, and I think the first one is going to be yours, you just take whatever card happens to occupy, you know, the matching position in my half of the deck, and we'll see if, that's, if that has any significance whatsoever, all right? Now, I know that yours is going to be pretty close to the top here, so uh, here we have uh, yours, right? Mm -hmm. And this is the card that occupied the exact same position in my half of the deck. I'll leave it right there, okay? Now, if we keep going, I think Dan's card was the next one. That should show up sooner or later. Dan, do you remember what your card was? Jack of Diamonds. Jack of Diamonds, it's right there, all right? So we'll just take the card that occupies the same position in my half of the deck, and I will leave it right there, okay? And your card was? The Ten of Clubs. The Ten of Clubs. I think that's going to be somewhere near the bottom, but if I keep dealing long enough, we'll get to it eventually. There it is, the Ten of Clubs. And just as we've done for everybody else, we'll just take uh, the, the card that occupies the same position in my half of the deck and we'll place it right there. So three completely fair choices. And I don't know if you've noticed this, but these cards have had no particular relationship to each other. Uh, and uh, just all along the way, I mean, you can see that uh, all these cards are different. You chose the Jack of Clubs, you chose the Jack of Diamonds, you chose the Ten of Clubs. And I think perhaps if this worked, if you turn over your face down cards, you might find something very surprising. Perfect mates, all the way around. Very good. Well done, Sarah. Very nice. Thank you.